one more question because I'm sure you've gotten this question tons of times, okay. but are you going to run in 2024? And if so, can I be your vice president? Oh, that's very interesting. Wow, what a good choice that would be. That would be fantastic. Trump Owens, uh, 24. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a great, I would be, you, you would be fantastic. And, you know, I really appreciate the job you do and everybody does. Uh, the answer is I'm absolutely enthused. I look forward to doing an announcement at the right time. Uh, as you know, it's very early. But I think people are going to be very, very happy uh, when I make a certain announcement. And, you know, for uh, campaign finance reasons, you really can't do it too early because it becomes a whole different thing. Otherwise, I'd give you an answer That's that correct. I think you'd be very happy with. But uh, so we are looking at that very, very seriously. And uh all I say is stay tuned. Yeah, well, I guess we'll take you at your word, and that means that in 2024, Trump and Owens are going to be on the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> As we watched Candace Owens ask the President Trump, President Trump is on the phone. She asked if she could be his vice president. So, very interesting. Um, my wife and I was talking about a couple of months ago, even prior to, you know, President Trump uh, ex exiting, exiting the White House, we were talking about that she will make a very good vice president, you know. She's a very strong uh, conservative and uh, she is open-minded about, you know, the ideas of, uh, you know, bringing conservatism to the community. She's um very outspoken on the issues that our communities right now need and also she's very outspoken of the younger generations being attacked by socialism and also um the younger generations being attacked from all over the place you know from left and right from both sides you know and especially liberal media is attacking the younger generations, try to indoctrinate their thinking, their views, their worldviews, and that all about the free stuff, like everything free in the country. You know, Venezuela, many of you know, Venezuela try that and what happened to them. So America is not a socialist country. It's a very strong foundational country that helped so many other countries to um, to get out of, you know, or keep them out of communism or many things. So America is a country of freedom, you know. Everybody's free here. Nobody's slave. Nobody is bounded. But everybody is free country. And I believe in the idea of freedom, land of the opportunity, and living together, finding a common ground, even if we have a different political views. Cancel culture absolutely is nonsense. Canceling people out and canceling a certain group of people, it's not a good either for business and for freedom and also for growth because the house divided in itself will never stand because it will be destroyed and the destruction will become the destiny of that house because if it's divided uh, this country even despite of having different political view canceling is not good Candace Owens you know she has been very strong politically conservative and she has spoken on a very number of you know different political views that really got people either love her or hate her both side of the aisle because she is speaking the, she's spoken the truth and uh, when you don't like it you hate it um she um you know ti the rapper he was after her um and then because they they got into a debate um on the on the stage and uh, and you seen she was on a Ben Shapiro show because Cardi B attacked her and when she attacked back Cardi B you know attack, keep attacking back and forth and 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 Cardi B is as all of you know it's not a very the Cardi B the rapper if you don't know I think everybody knows not a very good example for young girls 
I'll, I say that Candace Owens is a very good example for the younger girls and also especially for African Americans uh, to understand that they can be anything they want. Despite of having a different political views, it should not be canceled out, but we need to understand that we have to find a common ground. Despite of your political views, despite of your, because we cannot, or I cannot, you know, mix something in a drink and feed somebody something to change their political views. Over time, people political views changes and there is might be event that changed their uh, political views, especially happened with Candace Owens. Candace Owens said when she, um, you know, prior to that, she was a liberal. But when she stepped into the conservatism, it really changed her after she meeting after she met Donald Trump and what some of the di things that he discussed on it. And it really changed her political view. And that's what brought her to the point of further exploring and educating herself on a conservatism. And when she understood and when she educated herself, it really worked very well for her to, it, right, it was a, a ha ha moment, ha ha, that's what was going on. I think we, all of us need to understand that, that we, all of us has a, obligations on uh, things to understand and really grow ourselves. If you're not growing, we're not really moving forward in our lives. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that video. Have a good day.